talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and how it may actually further deviate from the original game. This is what is being suggested by the co-director. Reading from WCCF Tech, they say Final Fantasy VII Rebirth may deviate further from the original than Remake. This is what the game's co-director recently suggested. In a new blog post shared on Square Enix's official website going over the final chapter of Remake, co-director Matamu Toriyama commented on the unknown journey Cloud and his friends have now embarked on, highlighting how the Whispers are no longer able to maintain the destined timeline, suggesting that there may be bigger story changes in the upcoming second part of the remake project. So he says, as it says at the end of the game, the unknown journey will continue and Cloud and his friends will be on that journey for a while yet. From here on in, the Whispers cannot act to maintain the destined timeline, so fans can look forward to seeing what kind of future awaits the team. That's the direct quote. And for anybody who may have forgotten, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is currently set to release during winter of 2023 on PlayStation 5. So as of right now, it is going to be a current gen only title, which I think a lot of people are happy about. But yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to share this with you because I feel like this may have went under the radar a little bit. Then again, from what I can tell, some Final Fantasy VII fans are already anticipating that there are going to be even more changes to the story with Rebirth than what we saw in Remake. So be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of that. 